this is Melinda from Click Winning Content and in this video I'll show you how to look at your Google Analytics data to understand if your search engine optimization efforts are paying off. So the aim with search engine optimization is to get your website to appear on the first page of the Google search results or another search engine when people search for your target keywords. So you might be optimizing your website yourself or paying an agency to do it. But either way, if you're putting time or money or both into search engine optimization, you really need to understand if it's bringing web traffic that's adding value for your business. So this is the first screen you'll see when you log into Google Analytics. For today's video, we're going to click here on acquisition and then go all traffic and source medium. So this is the screen that shows all the different sources and mediums that are bringing web visitors to your website. So in terms of organic traffic, anything in these rows over here that finishes with organic is traffic that you're getting from a search engine. So for the purpose of the exercise today, let's just have a look at the Google organic traffic. So the first thing to do is have a look across these rows and you can compare the numbers to the other traffic sources. Um, so this one here, direct, that's people that went directly to your website. So they typed um, your URL into the browser or perhaps clicked on a link. You might also see Google forward slash CPC, that's your AdWords traffic that you're getting or um, perhaps Facebook referral traffic if you're doing Facebook advertising. So it's good to look at the Google organic numbers. Here's the bounce rate, the pages per session, the average session duration. And initially, just compare them to how those visitors behave in relation to the other traffic sources. And ideally, the organic traffic should be as good as or ideally better than the other traffic sources. So that means perhaps a consistent bounce rate or slightly lower than the others, um, similar pages per session and time, or hopefully more and a longer time spent there. And that's an indication of whether you're getting quality traffic from the organic search results. But what I really wanted to show you today is how to isolate just the organic traffic to see if it's growing. So just click here on the one you wanted to look at and it will just show the information for this traffic source and medium. So depending how long you've been working on your SEO, Go back a long date range. So you can set the date range up here. And what we might do is go back a year. So we'll just change that to 2016 and then click apply. And then what I like to do, so this graph here shows the number of sessions per day. So that's basically the total number of visits to your website. When you're looking at a long time period, it's easier to click this one by month and it sort of flattens out the graph a bit. So you can see for an example of this website, there's a big spike in organic traffic in January. It goes up a bit over here around June, July, and then it sort of flattens out. So this is a seasonal, this is actually a tennis blog, and this is the big spike of traffic around the Australian Open that's held in January. But if your business is seasonal, for example, if you're an e-commerce store and you get busy at Christmas, hopefully you see a spike in organic traffic in November, December, or if it's not seasonal, but you're paying money every month for SEO, ideally you wanna see that organic traffic number going up and up and up, or at least staying consistent, but not going down unless there's a reason why that happened or you know, you're know you aware of why. So that's how to look at if your organic traffic is increasing or going down or what's happening with it. The other thing that's really valuable is to have a thing set up called goals in Google Analytics. And basically they track actions that you'd like people to take once they arrive on your website. And for an e-commerce store, the obvious one is someone placed an order. Or, you know, for a service provider, it might be someone filled in your online contact form, um, someone signed up for your video, video, excuse me, someone signed up for your video, all those kinds of things. So if you have an SEO agency, hopefully they've set up those goals for you and you can see how many are achieved from organic traffic and the conversion rate. And then again, if you view back to all the other traffic source and mediums, you can compare the ability of your organic traffic to achieve your goals with the other traffic sources to see if it's consistent or hopefully better because 
It's actually the people that take action that will help you grow your business. So you really need a good conversion rate or at least to be getting some conversions from that organic traffic for you to be getting value out of it. So I hope you found that video useful and thanks for watching.